Hmm. All right, looks like it's going to be a bit of a sunny day outside for once. Well, that's nice. Hey, what's up, you wonderful people? Duffy here, and I've got some, uh, some interesting story to tell you. See this here jacket? Remember when we started Origin Story? You know, this journey, I was a 4XL. Everywhere. This is a 2XL, all right? It's a little snug, but it's exciting, you know, going down two sizes. I had to buy this rain jacket because it was raining a lot and I had walks to take, so uh, that's the story of this jacket. Hello. These are delicious. They're also one of the only things I can eat out anymore, like the keto diet. Now these are um, bacon egg bites. Basically breakfast in the uh, shape of a little cupcake. I get these at Starbucks, they're pretty good. This place is already looking like a much more advanced gym than the one that I've been going to for a while. The, like the weights uh, are like, there's like switches instead of little things you put into, uh, like little, instead of like pegs. It just looks really nice. It doesn't look uh, old. It looks more expensive and new stuff. So, uh, and everything seems to be branded by you know, them. Like the weights here are um, UFC brand weights. Let me see if I can pull one off over here so you can see it. Yeah, so it's all UFC branded stuff. So this treadmill's got a lot of buttons and uh, actually a good amount of space to put my stuff. So like, the phone can go there, put my wallet there, and keys, and you've got two spots for your water bottles. Nice. I'm gonna figure out how to make this thing work. Ooh, Bluetooth. Hey guys, just a little heads up. If you're ever at the gym, common courtesy is to take the weights off when you're done with them and not leave them for the next people to deal with. So to the person who left these weights on, that is like literally one of my biggest pet peeves. Don't do it. Something that I noticed that you're doing is when you are in the bottom of your squat, you're rolling to the front of your feet here. So we need to try to pull that back into your heels a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. You think I'd have this by now? See, we put our stuff back. It's so hard to do this with the camera. This thing behind me here is called the Octagon, and I kind of want to try it.
UFC gym. Let's talk about that. They have some really nice equipment, and I mean really top-notch stable equipment. Their treadmills, for instance. Not only can they hold more than 400 pounds, but they're actually able to, um, you know, let me walk at a pace faster than two miles an hour. The ones over in my current gym, they actually start to buckle, like the treads actually start kind of buckling underneath me if I'm going, you know, over 1.8 or 1.9. Uh, this one, I was actually traveling at two and a half miles an hour. I didn't feel any of that give, so definitely some really good equipment there. I did have a small problem, and that was with the Stairmaster. Now, I have a fear of heights, a fear of falling, more accurately, and uh, I knew that the bottom step was collapsing as it got down to the bottom, you know? It was collapsing every single time that the new bottom step appeared there. It would just go under, and I was constantly concerned that my foot was going to be on it when it went under. Now, no one should have to worry about that. Uh, at least, as far as logically I can say, there's not really a reason to think that that's going to happen, but when you're in the middle of it and when you have a fear like that already, it's just going to happen emotionally, this this panic of, oh no, it's going to fall. I mean, anyone anyone here play Ocarina enough time when, you know, the castle is crumbling to bits or all around you and you have to keep running, the stairs are falling off behind you, it's like, oh, you, you can't stop moving. That was the kind of feeling I had, and uh, it was much worse than when I played a video game because I felt like I was in some sort of physical danger. But I wasn't, and Steven was watching me. It's just something I'm going to have to work on and improve on. Now, I'm not a member at UFC. They had a, uh, a seven-day free trial that they let me use. Uh, I went in there today, and I can go back again for the rest of the week. Oh, wait, actually, five-day, five-day free trial. And I can go in any, any time between now and five days from now, uh, which I think would put me at Tuesday, maybe, depending on how you count. So here's the thing. I have been having some doubts about whether or not I'm going to even be able to complete the Spartan Sprint on April 7th, uh, but Steven doesn't want me having those thoughts, so he gave me this uh, offer. If I can complete the Spartan Sprint, all right, there's no time limit or anything like that, if I can just complete the Spartan Sprint, I get to join the UFC gym, which is going to be really cool. I really want to be a part of that gym. They've got a lot more equipment there that I'd love to use, and it just overall, it's just going to be better for me. And so this is kind of my, the, the carrot in front of me when it comes with the sprint. Uh, not to mention the fact that he's also going to be doing an extra 300 push-ups on the anniversary party if I get the trifecta. Get it? You know, yeah, you, you get it, you get it. That's it for now, guys. So until next time, hit that subscribe button in the face and ring its bell. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what do you do for working out? Do you go to a gym? And if so, is it a, is it a cool gym like UFC or is it more of a family-oriented gym? Or maybe you don't go to any gym. You know, maybe you work out at home which, you know, any of these are possibilities. So go ahead and let me know what you like to do for working out, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, good luck and train hard.